If you are about to travel to any of the Canadian natural mining operations for the first time, this video will give you an overview of what you can expect. We have two mining operational locations in Northern Alberta, Horizon and Albion Sands. There are two ways workers can arrive at our sites. Workers from the Fort McMurray area, which is 80 kilometers south of Horizon and 75 kilometers south of Albion, will arrive by ground transport on bus. Depending on the destination site you are traveling to, this usually takes around 60 to 80 minutes of travel time on the bus. Other workers will arrive by air, passing through security at their departure locations and landing at the on-site aerodomes. The Horizon and Albion operations each have their own aerodome. Both are located in District of Wood Buffalo. Both are fully operational airports. We have equipment that keeps the runways and aircraft in operation 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Safety measures are in place for all weather conditions. Before boarding your flight, be sure your bags are tagged for the camp that you will be staying at. When you arrive at the aerodome, you'll be guided to a bus, which will take you to your first stop. Regardless of how you arrive, that stop will be the site safety orientation. The safety orientation information will include an explanation of alarm sounds, beacons, and site emergency assembly areas, so that in the event of an emergency, you will know how to respond. Safety is paramount in everything we do. It is fundamental to all Canadian natural operations. Maintaining a secure site and camp is important. So the next stop is to get your access card for the site. You will need this card to access all camp and work areas. Following the site safety orientation and access card processing, you will be greeted and taken to your camp to sign in. Here, your access card will be updated to provide you with access privileges to your room and the dining facilities. You will also have access to other amenities, such as the gym and common areas. When you get to your camp, you will find your bags are waiting for you and you will be ready to proceed to your room. Each room is equipped with a comfortable bed, full bathroom and shower, personal storage units, a small desk, a television, and a Wi-Fi connection. Clean linens are provided for your comfort. The camps do not supply toiletries or towels, so you will need to bring your own. If your job involves being on a construction site for any reason, you will need to wear the appropriate safety equipment. This is referred to as Personal Protective Equipment, or PPE for short. You will need to bring approved steel toe safety work boots for the work conditions. They are only approved if they have the required safety approved branding. They must be minimum six inch safety boots with slip resistant soles. Workers potentially exposed to live electrical contact must have the appropriate footwear with this branding. Workers operating pressure equipment as determined by the hazard assessment process must have metatarsal foot protection. For more information, please refer to the safety footwear policy for field workers. If you are required to drive on site as part of your job, check with your supervisor to review any required site driving courses or orientations you may need to complete. Before you travel to the site, you may be required to complete our detailed oil sands orientation online course. Check on this with your supervisor. Contractors will be required to complete the Oil Sands Orientation course online before arriving. We do not conduct site orientations at our Oil Sands sites for contractors. The first day of work can be a bit stressful as you get familiar with the site and start to get to know your fellow workers. So be sure to ask questions and get the information you need to work safely and confidently. If you have any questions about your tasks, or job requirements, do not hesitate to ask your supervisor. 
Everyone is committed to returning home safely after every shift. Remember, your safety and the safety of your coworkers is paramount. When you're ready to leave the camp and catch your return flight home, be sure to check the bus schedule to the Aerodome. Make sure you get on the bus with enough time to arrive and check in. Be sure to review the travel and camp materials provided to you before you travel to help familiarize yourself before you arrive. This concludes the Canadian Natural Mining Operations and Camps Orientation Overview. We hope you enjoy your time at our Horizon and Albion operations.